Haz and Meg can't even dream. Kate went head to head with another royal this afternoon. Kate went head to head with another royal this afternoon as England took on Scotland in the Six Nations. The Duchess of Cambridge has taken over from Prince Harry as patron of England rugby. Meanwhile, Princess Anne is patron of the Scottish rugby team meaning the two royals were in direct competition for the match today, which Scotland won 20-17. Kate's husband Prince William is patron of the Welsh Rugby Union, with Wales taking on Ireland on Saturday. It was announced earlier this week that Kate had been passed the Duke of Sussex's former roles as patron of the Rugby Football Union, RFU, and the Rugby Football League, RFL. Meghan Markle, Prince Harry called out for criticizing Spotify despite relying on their income. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are under fire for making comments against Spotify's take on misinformation despite having only its income to rely on. This call-out has been issued by royal expert and commentator Neil Sean. He spoke of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's hypocrisy on his personal YouTube account and questioned the couple's actions, citing names of musicians Joni Mitchell and Neil Young as an example of integrity. He questioned, legendary singer-songwriters Joni Mitchell and Neil Young have decided to pull their product from the platform simply because they said they don't agree with a certain element of it. It's interesting because you can only really do things like that when you are an international success when you're worth millions of pounds so you can make these grandiose statements. He also went on to say, what is interesting is there are certain people that truly rely on the income that Spotify does deliver for their brand. Harry and Meghan have released a statement claiming they are staying with Spotify but what is the reason why? So far Spotify has paid Harry and Meghan an installment for these podcasts. If they decide to go out against Spotify, it makes it very difficult for Harry and Meghan because they would have to return that installment. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are reportedly still learning making revelations about things that kept on happening behind their backs, after Meg's sit. Royal author and biographer Ahmed Scobie made this candid revelation. According to Express UK, he began by admitting, what I found really interesting about the coverage of that handover was a source claiming that Camilla was miffed Meghan had originally been given the role. Which gives you further insight into some of the true feelings of how other members of the royal family felt about Harry and Meghan long before they even stepped away. Before concluding Mr Scobie added, even now, Harry and Meghan are still learning about things that went on behind their backs or behind the scenes before they left. If anything, these stories are perhaps a reminder to them that they made the right decision. Royal commentator and expert Neil Sean issued this scathing question against the prince. On his personal YouTube account, she wrote, while Prince Harry's speech about how we should run our lives through meditation and of course the universe is fun. There is a bigger problem attached to that. Both Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are very influential to a younger group. He even stressed how there are a lot of people who really do take this stuff on board and thus Prince Harry's comments, with no qualifications can prove to be very damaging in the long run. And let's be honest, if you are working in a hotel from 6.30 in the morning, do you have time for mediation, sitting down, pondering over a cup of tea? No, those sort of things are reserved sadly for those if you are unemployed for a short period or if you are taking time out and retired. Obviously people are saying what does he know, he has never had a full-time job and he is not qualified, and that is the bigger picture. At the end of the day it is evident, he's speaking about something he has absolutely no qualifications in, and you have to take their, mental health professionals, notes on board.